have continued making a call for dialogue between President William Ruto and opposition leader Raila Odinga. Now saying that Kenyans have already experienced enough loss and it's now high time the country moves forward. Now speaking at a media briefing in Nairobi during an event to usher in the new presiding bishop of the Methodist Church in Kenya, the clergy has urged Kenyans to, see, uh, to cease going for demonstrations, rather peacefully coexist with one another and find a better way to express their grievances. We have watched Kenyans lose lives, property and others hospitalized due to the ongoing demonstra uh, demo demonstrations. As a church, we are calling for unity and peace among our pol pol political leaders. We urge Kenyans not to allow polit political leaders with selfish interests to destroy our homeland and push us into destitution. Let us all resist the incitement and provocation to engage in violence and in destruction which will destroy our beautiful country. As Kenyans, we need to embrace non-violence as we demand for better laws and policies since we are all hurting from the high cost of living. We beseech Honorable Raila Odinga to embrace dialogue and consultations as a strategy for addressing grievances so as to promote reconciliation. We also appeal to our President, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, to carefully give attention to the needs of the people guided by God's wisdom founded in the Bible. On behalf of the Methodist Church in Kenya, I would like to send our condolences to the families that lost their loved ones in the demonstrations and pray for a speedy recovery and peace for all who have been injured and those who have lost, uh, lost livelihoods and properties. All right, now we do want to take a short break here.